Hey, what's happening, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Listen to the Amazing Fantasy Podcast, episode three. So this episode talking about series power. In this series, I was always aware of its existence, but I just hadn't really watched it until I got myself a uh, a Star subscription. A couple of years ago, I want to say now, because I've managed to catch up on the entire series. I think all six seasons were out by the time I discovered it. And I basically been the entire series right on time for uh, to catch up on Book Two Ghost and Raising Canaan, which is great. They're all great spin offs. And it, an example of how, you, how people should write spin-offs in the same universe. I hope Disney's taking notes because they need to pay attention to how it's done. You can't seem to get it right with their crappy TV shows, one after the other. So, Power is uh, one of those shows starring uh, Omar Hardwick as Ghost, same St. Patrick. It's one of those shows that is set in the fictional universe, but there's a lot of realistic elements in it that I think is part of what makes it so memorable and kind of a classic in my opinion. So the annoying ghost, you know what that annoying chick Angela shows up in the club, I knew something was going down. And lo and behold, he just, everything that happens in that show is uh, James' fault. All of it. I use, I use this compared to a uh, uh, John Mayer situation. It's people stupidly think that he's the victim. He's the one that caused the situation to happen in the first place. Same here. Everything that happens to James St. Patrick is his fault. The moment he started moving out of his marriage, that's when everything fell apart. Oh, got his family involved in his drug game. His daughter died. His son hates his guts. His wife ended up cheating on him because he started cheating. Everything fell apart. It was to the point where he didn't even realize how far I was tying his paw on until he had a gun pointed at him and pulled the trigger. Man, it was great drama, but I'm like, damn. And that's. Kind of turned into one of my favorite shows now. I'll admit the uh, the Tommy spinoff, uh, Book Four Force, is a little bit tricky to follow, but they're all pretty good. <coughs> Ghost and Raisin Cane are probably my favorite spinoff. <laughs> King is it's a good prequel series, but it doesn't beat you over the head with nostalgia or Easter eggs like with Disney Wars. <laughs> this can't help themselves, I guess. Every other damn thing with Disney Wars is a Death Star or another sand planet, or something stupid people have seen as many times, or some dopey prequel show about some idiot and what he eats for breakfast in the morning and then got blown up in another prequel. I personally think it stinks. Dude, MJ told me you almost died. Are you okay? Hey, Mom. Actually, I felt better. I should have been. Wait. Really? You know, Raising Cane is an example of how you just people right. Got some bonfires to crash. Make it okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, I know how 
how keen the story ends, but seeing this as early reviews <laughs> this makes it better in my opinion because it adds layers to who he is. And seeing how his mom is basically crazy too. I see exactly where it came from. I thought he was influenced the most by his uncle Lou. His uncle Lou was a pussy, so clearly not. <laughs> he seemed like kind of a badass in the first season, and then he was slowly been decomposed over the course of the series, and I'm like, hmm. Not why I thought that character was going. <laughs> someone else. Season 4 should be back in the summertime. Uh, then we should have Force, maybe by the winter season. And then the next season, Race and Kane, will be season 4. I'll follow you next year. Race just, just, and King just concludes season 3, so it's going to be a while for us for that one coming back. series, but something about the way the characters are written is so good, and the uh, series creator, Cody Kent, I think she's a producer on every spin-off series, so that kind of explains why everything is so good, and how it all links, when you look at like Marvel shows, and Star Wars shows, there's different layers in every series, so everything's all all mixed up and disjointed. It makes sense why so many of the shows stink. As long as Empress Crinkles is in charge of Disney Wars, probably won't get any good Star Wars films going forward because she is a crazy witch. Powerful 2 Ghosts Season 3 uh, has a very interesting cliffhanger. Basically, Tariq started a war. <laughs> and like, one thing I'll say about James Patrick, aka Ghost, he was a smart dude. Uh, he was always 10 steps ahead of his enemies and his allies. Tariq is a smart kid. He needs to use his brain a lot more if he wants to survive. Less guns for Tariq and more brains. Because he cannot be Kane. Kane, who wants to be Tariq, by the way. To the point where he's getting his leftovers. Kane wants to be Tariq. Can't be Tariq because he's not Tariq. Yeah, I've had enemies like that before. People hate it. I want to be you, but they can't because. They just don't have the takes. Thank <laughs> you. 
So basically, it was bloody turned against them. If you turn against someone, I'm not surprised by having a white cut to it again. First place. I get white in today, but I never trust her. She betrayed him before, so do it again, obviously. Because, and the day she really went out for herself. This is how it is in the world of the streets. Use people for what they can give you. When they're not useful anymore. Now leave. I mean, she did the first time they met, so. She hasn't changed. Even the mask she wears changed. But her as a person, her motivations have not changed. So it just needs to be a smarter dude. Just you know his old man was like, oh, lovability over Angela. And that's what led to the downfall, ultimately. Just hoping Tori doesn't end up on the same path. Easy to get wrapped up in a piece of ass. Hey, hey. I'm fine. Just gotta remember that. These chicks. Just absorb your attention like a sponge and get nothing back in return. I like the week to be smarter than that. Smarter than his old man. They're more riled up than usual. So keep your head down. Are you getting hit? Kitchen entrance. You should change. The classic Peter Parker look is going to cut it. No, this probably won't happen, but I think what I would like to see is uh, for including a ghost, power book to ghost, is uh, the very last scene. I would like to see James and Patrick show up to confront Tariq. So when Tariq sees him, Toys is like, what's the matter, son? Looks like you've seen a ghost. And then he smiles, string goes black, and you get a gunshot. <laughs> that's, how I, that's how I would end the series. Probably won't happen, but I think it'd be cool to see. At least in Kane, that a very interesting conclusion to this season. The meat is apparently alive. Did the same type of thing with Kane in the original series. Ghost defeated and then left him to burn. But then he broke out of the, the warehouse. You see him heal over time. To me, I just binged the whole thing, so I got to see it pretty quickly. But uh, it's not unbelievable in this universe. And since it's a prequel set in the past, a little more flexibility. So I don't have as much of a criticism about it as I would in another show like maybe Disney Wars. Sorry. Excuse me. So it's not that big a deal. I just you know a little bit of an explanation. It did seem like uh, Ronnie knocked him out, hit him pretty hard, and then just dropped him in some graveyard or something. Again, got this scar on his forehead or something, so. I mean, should have checked to see if he was actually gone, but, you know, people never do. Especially in these shows. I figured once his brother was introduced, that one only killed off. Which is what happens. Usually when someone's sibling introduced. The other person is written out of the series. I'm not surprised Kenny shot Ronnie. That's, that's a really good character, so. Oh, 
a cliffhanger, but I'm not entirely sure where that show is going as of now. So it's a little bit trickier to follow. Tommy's a funny character, but uh, his show is a little bit tougher to uh, digest. I wasn't really sure about Raising Kane until I actually watched it. I like the setting, the characters are great. Must be him. Usually I dread prequels, but got this guy's the same writers as the original series, so can't really complain too much. This to Mr. Kravenoff's personal bodyguard? What makes you think I'm him? <laughs> uh, you know, you're, uh, huge. Dima's very hungry. You should leave now. So funny. I was just about to do that. So I think more than anything, Tariqan allies. And, uh, I was looking up at that I believe this is going to be season four. Yeah, find the elevator. He's allies. Tom is in Chicago. Ghost is gone. Canyon's gone. Carolina's mother, she's in witness protection. Braden's the only one who really has his back. So I'm kind of curious how that's going to be balanced. Going forward, because. I'm tired of the Hada family no, 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 again. Surprise, surprise. I'm showing you what Kane is. She knew she could control him. She knew she could be up to him. She knew she could control him. So, she gave him what, she, what he wanted. And, basically, she's running the show for him. He thought he was in control. Find Craven in his weird lizard serum. Easy. <laughs> you wouldn't happen to be Dima. Let's have a go sometimes. So like I was saying, with uh, it's a good drama series where there are some realistic aspects to it. Nothing just makes right. it better and adds if layers to, to the series overall. It wasn't even shown anymore. She would try to warn, didn't listen. Because Angela was his quote unquote first love or whatever. No serum. These so that's an excuse. Chemotherapy. These cravens, too? I'm not entirely sure what he saw in Pasha, personally. Just don't get it. But, uh, Only a few blocks from here. Craven has to be there with the serum. Time to move. As for Ghost Season 4, again, I think Turk needs to spend time gathering allies. But a two bit should probably be one of them. Maybe. Maybe Frenemies. Like I think could play both it's sides. Not what it looks like. Be like his inside the room and she's like a little bit of candy. Keep him alive. Keep him alive. Keep him alive. Keep him alive. Okay, suit. Let's see what you
you can really do. I think the season might start off with Tom with uh, Terry looking for Tommy in Chicago. He's probably the first one. Here's probably for as far as an ally. I don't know if Tom will actually have it again. Because without me, they never do it. Last time I saw Tommy, Tommy blew him to take out his mom. So we need to use his brains going forward. Fund into a trading company that was kind of down to my opinion. But there, it goes to his uh, tennis up head, making sure he's moving in the air until he graduates. And leave him that note and that for us to campus. Same exact way it goes as a Red Edge Club. I'm like, damn. <laughs> That's some great writing right now. There's a people are online saying it all. Gotta get to the chat. You can go to the like, no. You get shot at point blank range and then fall off the ledge. He's gone. That was a Molly Hardwick's send off. Serious. Buddy. I'll take care of you. Never try to talk. Down. It was way too late. Then we were already done. Kane got in his head. And they put it in. Now, one of my favorite moments from season three is when uh, Tariq killed FE2 with his power line. Was pushed to the river and then left it out stranded. And it was. Just a dose of milk right there. Okay, webs are back. It's you! I knew that was our meat cute back there, I knew it! I'd love to get to know you better, but I got some business to take care of. Song and dance. My power is one of those shows. <laughs> kind of hurt the moment I started watching it. This is so gripping. The writing is great, the acting is superb. Currently, probably my favorite show on TV. The boys is up there too. I Here would to say so many of the Amazon things is a good idea. That show is like in two parts or some crap. So I just took it off my my watch list completely. Instead of wasting my time, just dropped the whole damn season. Not like it's gonna be on network TV. Let's see. If you have the strength to finish what you started. to save my friend.
Making sure he's returning. Probably those the most I think are uh, yeah, those the most. I think Brazen Can has the most flexibility as far as the power series goes. He can really add a lot of layers to the clean character. Not just him, but now I see exactly where he gets it from. <laughs> Crazy mom. Even like Rakao is a strong character. Um, I, I get it, he's, he's an executive like that. Makes sense why uh, when he's introduced in the original series, when he's in jail, he's clearly running in the prison because of who his mom is. All of that makes sense now. Not that I need to know all of that, but it makes sense. Sometimes mystery is better. But the reason why Star Wars was so good back in the day, especially in the EU, was the mystery. Which is all gone now. The idiots at Lucasfilm just want to spoon feed their little damn thing. That's why that dopey Andor show exists. <laughs> Not to get off topic, but the only reason that dumb show exists. We gotta tell you everything now. It's not much of you use your imagination anymore. Damn, not those days. That's some questions that still need to be answered. The cover cop that she becomes in the original series. <laughs> I can't wait to see her to start doing mix and whatnot. It's gonna be hilarious. She already had kind of a crew in the first season, and then she kind of fell away from it. Now she's part of some music group. Turned out that's gonna last long. She's talking about the military as well, so. It's gonna be cool to see how this character evolves. Anyway, if you're a fan of the Power Series, drop a comment below, let me know your thoughts. And I'll see you next time on the Amazing Fantasy Podcast. Karen? Are you kidding me? He was right here. I still have his number. Sounds like he's close. Bad guys on Darren's tail. Can't blame him. They want their money. Who is this? Is this Lewis? Darren? Stop the car! Spider-Man? Can you at least stop these guys chasing me? You weren't trying to retrieve those things. You were the one behind the robbery in the first place. I care about these objects! You pretended to care, and then stole from the museum. It's this community's history. It's my family's history. I don't expect you to understand. I don't think I'm the one who doesn't understand. Let's get these other bad guys out the way first. We gotta stop this and put all these guys behind bars, including Darren. Uh, Police are on their way. We gotta catch up to Darren. Uh, are you still there? Look, 
My father was one of the most successful music producers ever. He produced half the artists in that museum. Good for him. Now stop the car and tell me where the rest of the pieces are. Which one was the break? I should probably get my license one of these days. <clears throat> Just so I get this right. All that talk of supporting the museum. All Angela's time you wasted asking about operations and security. All lies. So you can learn how to steal the collection. But my family... No. <clears throat> I'm sure you do care about this music. But those things don't belong to you. They belong to this community. Let's go, sir. You're under arrest. This event would not have been possible without our wonderful curator, Angela. Mm -hmm. And this entire community. The way we pulled together to recover the stolen items is nothing less than amazing. Okay, okay. Thanks to everyone here for saving these people. And thank you, Rio Morales, our city council person, who carefully went to visit... Yeah, those are some funk beats. Really? Gotta study up on this guy. I think Abuela had a book about her. Gotta take a look when I get home. That? And she was a secret agent fighting Nazis? Huh. Josephine Baker, role model. Hope I can say I accomplished that much someday. it all worked out this museum is fire and so much music i want to go listen to now <laughs> right bro it's so inspiring hey you want to have breakfast tomorrow i can tell you all my new music ideas let's do it i'm gonna keep checking this out miles isn't this place awesome I'm embarrassed to say I've never been here before, but after hearing about the robbery, I thought I'd better come check it out. From what I heard, that guy convinced himself all this stuff rightfully belonged to him. Crazy what some people can convince themselves is true. Hey, I heard you helped find the missing saxophone. Yeah. I got to hold it. Burr coaxed miracles from that hunk of metal. My dad was a big Charlie Parker fan. He'd be happy to know the sax is here for everyone to appreciate. And maybe lead them back to the music. 
use it is magic. Down on Lennox Avenue the other night, by the pale, dull pallor of an old gaslight, he did a lazy sway. He did a lazy sway. That's some lyrics right there. Art and music can really make a difference in the world. I, we were hoping you'd be here. Oh, wow. Your mom is something else. That she is. Can you believe that guy pretended to be a donor and then robbed the place? Thank God he didn't get away with it. I agree. This stuff needs to be here. Not in some guy's penthouse where he's the only one who could see it. I can't believe he thought he had some right to take me from a nursing home. Oh, that's some class A entitlement right there. I'd love five minutes to give him a piece of my mom. All the shaming in the world can get a stranger. It's so cool how other people have been able to do music and save the world stuff. Hey, Miles! I figured I'd better come see that saxophone in its rightful place. It was your tip that helped with the saxophone recovery. Aw, oh, not really. It was all our Spider-Man. The guy, not the cat. Well, it was a community effort. Give your Spider-Man some ear scratches for me. I will. Angela, I'm Miles, Councilwoman Morales' son. Miles, she talks about you all the time. Congratulations on the exhibit. I'm glad it all came together. Thanks to your mom and Spider-Man, of course. Whew, this neighborhood is blessed to have them both. So basically, Bebop let musicians show off. Eugene was right. That is what MCs do. <laughs> Gotta listen a little more closely. I should finish looking around before I go talk to Ma and head out. Thank you all. Thank you so much. <laughs> Angela told me the museum has a record number of new memberships. Seriously? They're gonna be okay. <laughs> Couldn't have done it without you, Ma. Now hear me out. What if we really teamed up on the next one? I can get my own suit. Ma. Maybe. Algo con brillo. Ma, stop. Stop. <laughs> stop it. Get it out of your head. <laughs> Dance with me. Show me how to salsa.
those recent thefts at the Harlem Cultural Center? Turns out, Darren Shipman was pulling the strings. If that name sounds familiar, it's because he's a multi-millionaire with his name on everything, because his money is in everything. So, we have a special guest today to drop some knowledge on us about an exciting new opportunity for budding artists to share in the joys of responsible art. Please welcome renowned street artist and head of the Cooper Art Coalition, Haley Cooper. Hi, Danica. I'm Genki Lee, Haley's interpreter. She's signing next to me. She says she's concerned? Oh, excited <laughs> to be here. Uh, I'm still learning. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Welcome, both of you. So, Haley, tell us all about your coalition. Thanks, Danica. Thanks for interpreting, Genki. You're doing great. Uh, aw, thanks. <clears throat> uh, I was born deaf. Sign language didn't come easy at first, so I drew my feelings. I communicated through art. Still do. So when I found a copy of one of my pieces up for sale, it felt like a piece of me was stolen with it. That's when I started the Cooper Art Coalition. <laughs> A union that protects NYC artists of all mediums from theft. That's brilliant. It's about time we had a force to fight underground theft like this. Can you tell us more about what the coalition is doing to protect artists? We look out for each other, make sure we don't see copies where copies shouldn't be. And we have digital activists keeping an eye out for unauthorized online dealings. We're six That looks like one of Beck's Mysterium growing every day. This one seems really high-tech. At least with robots, I don't have to hold back that much. We'll get the spider right where we want him, won't we? Yeah. Gotta remember doggy treats next time. Not to brag, but I could have programmed those way better. <laughs> <laughs> 